I can bet my life that that judge did not write what he was reading. Because it was not fluent, it was not coherent, it is something somebody wrote for somebody and he's just reading it. Quote me, Tunubu may go to jail. No matter how you look, Tunubu may go to jail because of what he has done. Because there is no other way to define it. he has committed <laughs> an alleged criminal Hello, offense. Oh, my great and wonderful people, how on a day today, I hope all of a day were. Today we get some videos for our table. We want to be say one quickly the review to you concerning the things we want to be say if they happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. Just as you rightly see one from the introduction, how it be say this man they come aside to make open comment concerning the judgment of the presidential election tribunal. Now I will leave you to listen to this man how it be say they come aside to talk say he will feel bet his own life concerning that very verdict see not be the judges the five judges of the appeal courts write that very judgment remember before this very judgment we bring information to una how ibc some people take day for secret room they write judgment when ibc they will read this man equally come aside they review to us now say that very information see it not be lie at all at all he will feel bet his own life for that very issue. All right, after that very one, we equally get other videos when we will be review to you one after the other. I beg, stay with us. And equally, before we go on, help us to like this video because the more you like this video, the more YouTube they recommend them to people of APC for them to know, say, we know what they know. All right, listen to this very one first. We'll come back for more. You know, I went to my principal the day we did what they call the final presentation. I was with Atiku, went, you know, and I listened. That was the day I knew we, we lost the case at that tribunal. I listened to the chairman of that panel lambasting, P2B lambasting, Atiku lambasting the two political parties that put in a petition. Even a senior advocate, Uche, who was making his presentation, he disgraced him. He told you where he was going. But most importantly, I sat in my room for almost 12 hours or a little more than that, listening to the, that, uh, the reading of that judgment. I can bet my life that that judge did not write what he was reading. Because it was not fluent, it was not coherent. It is something somebody wrote for somebody and he's just reading it. Huh. But let me see what will happen in the Supreme Court. I don't need to. My younger brother is a senior advocate of Nigeria, so I don't want to preempt what happened. But what happened in the first tribunal is nothing to write home about. All right, my great and wonderful people. Abi, let's say, Una don't still hear from the mouth of the elderly. Abi, Una say, we the joke or we the try to make sure say we create propaganda when they basically they bring all those informations so Una. You know, one thing when they basically we always they talk, not pass, be say, until all of us come to this reality and forget our own self esteem, all these doubts. And this person, the world not will reach to take, and uh, that they try to turn us down because of say yes, uh, that they against us. Until we leave all those sentiments aside and face reality, we not they go anywhere. We not they go anywhere until we realize. See, even though say if they favor you now, you when it be say it be the senior brother to APC or senior mother to APC now, if they favor you. You know me say it will continue to defavor your children forever until we realize this very fact and decide to let our own present immediate need go and stand for the truth. We know they go anywhere. All right, I will leave you to share your own opinion concerning that very one for us on the comment section, even as we take you down to this other video. And this other video, now video interview where it be said this man for commerce for national television. To one I'm a baller to say the way when he be say in the pocket all the judges for inside this country when he be say they don't know their left from their right. When in they try to use the same method as we speak right now to make sure say he lobby the judges of America, where Atiku Abubakar they make demand for the United States of America to release the credentials. Of Amebola Tenebon, when Ibi said that they tried to dribble us up and down after Ibi said they don't already set a date to release all of them. Now they don't they tumble their mouth up and down. Here, waiting this man talk, say, if Amebola Tenebon not take care, he will land himself for J. 
watch this video interview i'll come back for more with the condition tenable is given the u.s court i don't think they will uh, oblige him it's not possible if they are going to disclose anything they must disclose everything that is what will make that uh, judgment valid before anybody how can you tell them to release document but it's not release the gender i don't understand ah uh, uh, we don't i don't understand it is not possible i don't even want to go into the nitty-gritty or the implication of what he's saying but i know that no u.s judge either magistrate or court or, or high court or, or any court at all in u.s will oblige tunubu they will ask him to give them reasons this is the playable damage he's talking about what is it you can't just come to court and make a uh, spurious claims and all that and expect the court to listen to it's not possible like when Atiku was asking for this document he had to adduce a lot of reasons valid reasons that was why the court even agreed to release those documents in the case of Tinubura, he's talking of irreparable damage irreparable what is that irreparable damage that you know, nobody is aware of so unless he can satisfy that condition the court will not oblige him they are going to release everything because the image of the United States, the image of U.S. court, the image of Chicago University is at stake here. Maybe Tunubu think that U.S. is Nigeria. That's why he's doing all these things. He thinks that U.S. is Nigeria. Look, there's a limit to infamy. All this uh, cover-up, there is a limit to it. There is a limit to it, and that limit is coming home now. Tunubu should do well and do the needful. In fact, if he should even resign now, it will do him a lot of good because by the thing this thing come out to uh, fully everything is already known it's just that they, it has not been officially uh, announced by the court so if he should resign now maybe it may even uh, help his case but if you continue to do this cover up at a point in time every, everything will give in that thing that he has been hiding for years will be exposed and that would be too bad for him so all this uh, release this don't release this is he commanding the court it's not possible now some of the things he's doing he's telling the u.s they're even using it to look at nigeria so this is the type of thing that are happening in nigerian courts and you want to bring it to the united states it's not possible it is not possible i'm telling you it is not because everything is at stake here so if Tunubu think that he will cover up and then uh, go ahead with this shenanigan in the U.S., it's not possible. No matter what he does, when it comes to uh, uh, judiciary, democracy, uh, openness, I think I can give it to the United States. If they could do it to their own former president, Donald Trump, I don't know who is Tunubu. I don't know who is Tunubu here. Because lawyers in the U.S., they will make reference to it. Uh, journalists, they will make reference to it. They will not ask the court, why are you covering this man? They will ask the uh, CSU, why are you covering this man? And they may not answer. Now, to make matters worse, it has become an embarrassment to Nigerians, both in, in, in Nigeria here and in diaspora. You had the uh, callers who call on your program what they are saying about what they have suffered, especially Mr. Bigger B. What is so it is it, the embarrassment is, is 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 monumental. Is that what you want us to live with the next four years? Over the years, Tudubu has been embroiled in so many infamy. From the time he lied about uh, his origin in uh, in uh, Lagos State and all that, so it is this thing that has he has been building up in Lagos that he took to Abuja and now he has taken to the United States. So, uh, you know, when, when you continue to be clever by half, at a point in time, you will lose, uh, you will lose uh, gravity. As it is now, Tunubu have lost gravity. All his lies have been exposed. Those things that have been hiding is coming out now. And what caused this thing? Tunubu caused it himself. He refused to do the needful. Because he told a lie initially. And he had been looking for a way to cover that lie. That was what brought about this Chicago State University brohaha. He told lies. If he had known this thing, he wouldn't have started it because the constitution did not even say you must be a graduate before you can become president. So because he had told lie initially, 
That's why he was trying to cover it. And the thing has now exposed him to a lot of radical. So, uh, Tunubu as a person now can never be the same again. If his gender is not what he claimed, let him say it. After all, we have transgender all over the world. I don't know why he's hiding his gender. I'm telling you. That is the, that is, in fact, that is the, I don't know how to explain it. That a man who now said people should not expose his gender. What is wrong about your gender? What is wrong there? If you are not the owner, of the, come out and, and say it. So that all this is with that done. If you don't, the, you, you'll be haunted by this uh, scandal. Throughout your lifetime, you'll be haunted by it. You will lose a lot of friends. You will lose a lot of businesses. Nigeria will be worse for it. So the, the implication is, 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 is overwhelming. If Tunubu consider all this the interest of Nigeria, that is why I'm advising Let him resign to save Nigeria the embarrassment and the shame. He has done enough as it is. No Nigerian president have, have gone, gone through this route in the history of this country. No Nigerian president. So I don't know how Tunubu will now fight corruption with this thing that's going on. He can't. He has lost the, 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 the credibility. He has lost the, the moral stamina to fight corruption in Nigeria. That is the implication. He can't. So if you, if you understand this in the way it is, I expect him as a person, let him resign. That is the only way out. If not, he may go to jail. Oh. Quote me, Tinubu may go to jail. No matter how you look, Tinubu may go to jail because of what he has done. Because there is no other way to define he has committed <laughs> an alleged criminal offense. As it is now, he's a suspect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very nervous. You know, they funny. But when EBC, you see people, when EBC, they talk the truth. Sometimes they laugh because honestly, a lot of us, they take there for joke. Like this very man now. A lot of us will take out for joke, say, not be today without they hear all these kind of things, right? But these are truthful people. When EBC, you will see who they tell you lies. Now, those people, now in you, they take serious people like i'm a bola and apc crew abby no problem all right the things when he say i'm a bola cook for lagos when he be said that they tell us today say he build lagos now he, he carry enter abuja now he don't remove him from abuja now he don't enter america i believe if he come up for america now heaven with the carry they go and go meet god <laughs> Uh, you see the reason why busy with the laugh. All right, we'll leave you to share your own opinion with us for the comment section concerning that very one, even as we take you down to this other video. Once in a lifetime, Adams Oshomole, the khaki man of Edo states, don't talk one thing when he say it makes sense. For Senate plenary, when he be say yes, he make some kind of request. I want to make one hear this very one. We no one know. From whose mouth truth for the common side? In as much as in our truth, we must make sure say we showcase the truth. I beg, listen to this statement when we say Adams Oshomole make concerning the nomination of CBN governor. Uh, my distinguished colleagues, thank you for this privilege to meet those who will manage our central bank. I want to differ very radically from what seems to be the general view. My view is I am suspicious of people whose main background come from commercial banking. Because central banking is about policy. It's not about marketing. It's not about seeking profit. It's about getting monetary policies right with clear focus on specific microeconomic objective. Whether it is job creation, stabilizing a, a, a price regime, exchange rate regime, inflation regime, all of that. When listening to the CVs, people who have managed banks that have gone into liquidation, that cannot be used as positive in their favor. The truth has to be told. I am not suggesting that any one of them is responsible. I'm saying, a doctor who parades the number of people who died under his care cannot forward that to me as his CV for me to appoint him as a soldier general. I don't need them to take note of that. 
that what we do in our small places of work, whether they, succeed, they survive or fail, goes to our credit or discredit. So they should take note. However, sir, I think at the heart of our problem, and I need the abuse on this, is that the immediate past management of the bank emphasize their autonomy. But in the real world of macroeconomic management, every agency's activity rub off on another agency. There can be no autonomy from monetary authority such that they do not interface with the fiscal authority. And even these two, in my view, if they do not relate with the Ministry of Trade and Commerce, because the challenge we deal with now is at least to everybody here, everybody seems to have submit, submitted completely to the so-called market forces and rely on the, the invisible hands of uh, Adam Smith to regulate and determine the value of the Naira. It is now clear, after Babagida started this devaluation, that the Naira, the market forces can never stabilize the Naira. The state must intervene. Interest rate cannot be at 20%, 25%, and you are expecting the manufacturing sector to grow that require long-term investment, or uh, investment that require long-term gestation period, borrowing at 20%, even if you are a drug dealer, you will find that those dealing with you in, uh, in some other party of Latin America will be more competitive. So I think that there is need for a complete thinking outside the box. When the West celebrates our free market, no control, and so on, I'm always suspicious. When they come for us, that we are doing the right thing, the, the state is withdrawing less regulations at a time when we can see that even at the turn of world trade, nation states are negotiating with other nation states to have specific trade relationships. So I think we need this new team. We need this new team to completely think outside the box, and I will expect on this occasion, Mr. President, but all the things that many of our colleagues have spoken to, including my, my dear brother, uh, Oje Kalu, if we allow Nigeria to import everything without restriction, and you have limited Naira dollars available, the Naira will continue to suffer devaluation. Our best time that you refer to, Mr. President, when you reminded us of a time where one Naira was 1.5 US dollars. I was a very proud worker in the textile factory. In those days, government, under the uh, a policy of backward integration, prohibit manufacturers from importing certain items. Even some textile fabrics were prohibited because the game of competition presupposes equality and uh, a level playing field. You cannot ask uh, uh, a featherweight champion to go and engage a heavyweight champion in the name of competition. Nigeria needs specific tools to protect industries at home and not pretend that a man with one leg can compete in a race with a man with two legs. We need a complete radical shift. We don't need the West to plan for us. We need Nigeria to plan for us. So I want these bankers and also, I've heard of you very much. When I was in trading, you know, we trouble each other somehow when you were in Lagos. And even now, we trouble you so that this president succeeds. We need to keep interrogating our assumptions and ensure that we are not copy copy Washington, all this international finance capital. It is their interest. There is no such thing as common interest. So, Mr. President, I thank you for allowing me to talk this much because. If this president is going to deliver on the renewed hope, it must devise new tools away from invisible market to visible hands that can be held responsible and accountable for our collective future. Thank you, sir. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe you say, don't hear everything from the mouth of Adams or Shumole. As we talked earlier, we're not there here to showcase video because of say we like this person or because if they talk something when they be say a concerned person when they be say we love no we they showcase video because of the truth and the sense when it be say the statement or the comment when they say the person make 
they reveal. And today we don't see, say, Nigeria, the reason why they say this nation not the work, now because of, say, the people in power don't make the people, when they say the day for the aim of affair to drive the vision of this nation, become people of Padi Padi. I know this one, this one know my senior brother, this one know my senior sister. No, be people when they they really get the vision and the capacity. Now it be the major problem of this country. Not because I said we not get the capable hands when it be say it will feel drive this nation to her own destination. No, we get a lot too. But the people when it be say that they for the right position now, now the wrong people when it be say that they choose people of their choice without vision, without capacity, and without even the knowledge of waiting that they occupy. The knowledge of the office when it be said that they occupy. Now, it make all of us, they go backward. Not because of say this nation, God not really bless us, or it be impossible for us to arrive in the destination when it be said this country is supposed to be by now. Dubai, United Kingdom, America, France, and Switzerland, when it be said they make their own reserve place where it be said they go to the for today, not be robots, build them. Now, human being with the right vision and the right knowledge of the right position when they say that they occupy. Now, in me can say you see all those nations that they go forward until all of us decide to make sure say we know they look say now my senior brother be this one, he must chop. My senior sister be this one, he must chop. Whether he get the capacity or he not get until we salide all those things and put all the sentimental attitude aside or religion or even ethnicity until we put that aside and begin to place demand for the services of those people when it is they really deserve them regardless of their location their ethnicity their background or their religious this nation nigeria we never go forward. All right. Now, so we're talking concerning this matter, we'll leave you to share your own opinion with us in the comment section, even as we draw the line of this very broadcast here. We will see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.